All right, bro. This is a video that really hits home for me because it's something I didn't really, I, I just came to a conclusion and a, and a realization about it there a few days ago. And another year's passed and I look back at my life a lot. I'm a very deep thinker. And I look back at my life a lot and I realize I've made a lot of progress this past year, especially with things in my life. Got my first girlfriend I ever, you know, I ever have. But I look at it now and I'm 23 coming 24 and you know, there's a part of me that feels very, that I'm missing out in somewhat. And it's not FOMO. In terms of dating and women, so many years on Tinder trying to find the perfect girl would spend so much time optimizing my Tinder profile. For so many years, Tinder has completely destroyed my mental health and my life because I would go on Tinder and I'd realize that I was getting no matches and I'd have days, like I would have one day where I would get 20 matches, for example, right? And then the next day, I would get zero matches. I would go from having extremely good mental health and self-esteem to feeling incredibly crap about myself in like that there like my my emotions would just go up and down like that there it was so unbelievably unhealthy for me that i've completely deleted tinder and i don't want it anymore and i actually go out there into the real world actually trying to find a proper girl instead of online because i realize now that tinder is now a cesspit of like degeneracy especially for girls it's mainly just a place you go if you want to just have like a one night stand or you whatever tinder is not the sort of place you can go to where if you want to find your future wife and if, if people if you've met your future wife on there you know and you're some 40 year old guy then that's fine but you're part of a minority you're not part of the majority a lot of men get very turned off at the stage because they don't realize that 60 percent of the target audience on tinder is men there's more men on tinder than there are girls so you're thrown into a pool where you may never even be seen by anyone and you could be a good looking guy and it doesn't matter it's so evil and manipulative that way and even using all these extra things like tinder gold and tinder premium they don't matter because at the end of the day you know you're thrown into an algorithm you're thrown into a pool and there's a few tips and tricks you can do to sort of get higher up the algorithm but even then you still may never find any sort of girl or may never get consistent matches that you deserve like you could be a good looking guy and you could be completely screwed over by tinder so if you're somebody who, who wants to actually live a good life and actually have a good, feminine, beautiful wife, material woman in your life, don't go on Tinder, bro. Don't go on Tinder. It has completely destroyed not just my life, but it has destroyed so many other men's lives and they don't even know it. There's a lot of girls who use Tinder for the wrong reasons. And like I said, I don't really think you should blame women for it. You know, like I said, women, women in the sexual marketplace and in the dating marketplace, basically men control relationships and marriage. Women control sex. Women are the deciders if they want to bang you or not. Men are the deciders if they want to get into the relationship or marry a girl. And Tinder is pretty much like a lucky dip for women. They can just pick and choose what type of guy they want because we live in a world where men are the ones who approach women. So in a, in a, in a world like this here where there's more men on Tinder than girls, the 30% the of women who are actually on Tinder have access to like 70% of men. And they can just pick and choose, pick and choose, because they have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of DMs, bro. You go into, like, women who are, like, in their 30s, ugly, whatever. Like, even ugly girls are getting so much attention from guys on Tinder. And it's it's giving them such inflated egos. And, and it puts and, and all these, like, loser low-life men on Tinder put these women on pedestals. And it makes these women who actually aren't that good-looking and ugly, it puts them on such high pedestals to the point where you literally will have, like, very ugly girls thinking that they're supermodels going around having very entitled attitudes and you know that's the reason why tinder has not just destro has destroyed my life but it has destroyed so many other people's lives and they don't even know it to them they think they're far better looking than they actually are and it actually damages them because then whenever they actually try and go out to actually find somebody they can't find a partner and you can see how that can really mess with with, with a woman's mind because they think they're really good looking but then they can't find anybody and that's because of tinder tinder is such an, a, a degenerate crap app and if you're if you're a young man who actually wants to live a good and successful life and you don't want to be a, a detriment to your bloodline you actually want to do something with your life and you actually want to live a good life and you don't want to be a complete failure and a complete mess and a complete fuck up then delete tinder bro don't waste your time looking back we're not going that way